I'm going to cut off my past. I won't let you do that! I learned everything from people of the past! It's because I had my friends that I was able to keep moving forward! They're what created the me that's here now! I'm never gonna let you cut that away! <laughs> then... You must know what you need to do. <laughs> A calamity has befallen the River of Time. An incident affecting the course of human history. That is to say, the erasure of history. A ninja world with no history is no ninja world. A ninja world with no history is devoid of humanity. The Book of Transcendence, which you composed long ago, now lies forgotten and unknown. History must be resurrected. Yet to accomplish this, we require a foundation whereupon its path will be retraced. Therefore, we shall weave this foundation together. We must once again set to paper the verses of this long-forgotten book. Let us begin.
From here forth, history will be spun again. And so, we must grant him a central role. The circumstances of his birth were cruel. Within the Land of Fire, the being known as the Nine-Tailed Fox Spirit descended upon the Hidden Leaf Village and began a violent rampage. The fourth Hokage, leader of the village, sealed the wild spirit away into the body of Naruto Uzumaki, returning peace to the village for a time. With the spirit of the nine-tailed fox sealed within him as an infant, Naruto endured persecution from the villagers, and yet he thrived. Time passed, and Naruto grew into a young man with dreams of becoming Hokage himself one day. With his indomitable optimism, he soon found himself surrounded by close friends. Among them was a young man named Sasuke Uchiha of the Uchiha clan, and Sakura Haruno, a young lady who admired Sasuke. It was these two shinobi who were assigned to Team 7 alongside Naruto after their graduation from the Ninja Academy. Undertaking countless missions together, they became especially close. But before they could embark on such missions, their team captain, Kakashi Hatake, had them carry out an exercise in order to test their abilities. This will be nothing like your previous training. It's a test to see what you can actually accomplish as a Genin. Well, the time has come. Let the survival session begin. Come on. Of the 27 graduates, only nine will be accepted as any. And the chance that you'll fail is at least 66%. Just to select potential Genin candidates. What? What? Dang! Well, I'm not gonna be weeded out! Gotcha! What? Come on! Yes. Don't mind if I do! Lightning play! Ah, I gotta do something! This is bad! Come on! Take gotcha. this! What? Seven graduates, only nine will be accepted as enemy. 
and the chance that you'll fail is at least 66%. What was the graduation test for anyway? Oh, that? Just to select potential guinea candidates. What? What? Stay I'm back! Well, I'm not gonna be weeded out. What the? Not finished yet. I'm not that easy to beat. I can do it when it counts. Yeah, well, not on my face. For what it's worth, that was pretty good. Here I come. <laughs> You're better than I thought. Better back off. Better back off. Better back off. Better back off. You, you, you. Come on. Out of my Better back off. Better back off. You better play. You. Here I come. Here I come. I let you. You passed. Huh? But we couldn't get the bells! I wasn't testing your individual skills. It was your teamwork I was looking at. Teamwork? In the ninja world, rules are important. It's true. But... There's nothing worse than ninja who won't help their friends. And I think you three get that. Of course, I'll still need to train you a heck of a lot more. All right, the exercise is over. Team 7 starts its first mission tomorrow. Competing against Kakashi, these three young shinobi learned the potential power in teamwork. And so, Team 7 was officially formed. Despite holding different dreams and ambitions within their hearts, the three friends set off together on the true path of the ninja. And so began their journey on a path with no end.
now official members of Team 7. A bridge was under construction to connect the impoverished land of waves to the other nations. However, the work was frequently impeded by a group who did not look with favor upon the project. Team 7 made the decision to guard the bridge through its completion. It was then that two strange characters emerged and drew them into a fierce battle. This duo consisted of Zabuza Momochi, one of the seven ninja swordsmen, and Haku, a young disciple of Zabuza, who possessed considerable powers himself. Although Naruto felt a sense of ambivalence toward Haku, who he could see was being used as a mere tool by Zabuza. For the sake of his friends and his beliefs, he steeled his resolve and challenged Haku alongside Sasuke. Now that I'm here, everybody's gonna be fine! <laughs> In the midst of heated combat, Sasuke awakens Sharingan, a special visual jutsu only accessible to the Uchiha clan, turning the battle in their favor. Why? Why did you save me? I didn't ask you to! I don't know. My body just moved. There was no time to think, loser. Witnessing this tragedy, Naruto flew into a violent rage, awakening the power of the nine-tailed fox sealed within him and unleashing an attack that overcame Haku. What's happening? I'll never forgive you! for this kid. Sabuza.
While Naruto and Sasuke were occupied with Haku, Kakashi was also locked in mortal combat with Zabuza. A faker like you could never beat me. For the land of waves and its future, I'll put an end to you. Your future holds only one thing, death. You can't defeat me. I fight because of my ambitions. You're too dangerous. I'll have to stop you here. Fire style. You got soft. Here I go. Better back up. There you are. Better back up. Here I go. Here I come. There you are. You better back off. There I come. There I come. Sink. There you are. You let go. Then sink. Sink. Not too slow. Sink. This is over. Sink. You. Here I go. Sink. There you are. There you are. This is over. Too slow. Fire there you go. You got a little too ambitious. Why? Why can't I keep up? You can't beat me in your current state. Farewell. Nice going. Here I come. Here I come. Here I come. Let's go. Fire style. Here I come. Don't get me. Here I come. Here I come. There you are. Here I come. This is the end. Lightning blade. Your ambition will create lots of sacrifices. That isn't something worthy of a ninja. Twin lightning shiver! As Kakashi lashed out with the finishing blow, Haku threw his body in between them, sacrificing his life to protect his master. When a person has something precious they want to protect, then they become genuinely strong. Haku walked his own ninja way until the very end. Just then, Gato, Zabuza's employer, arrived on the scene with a large band of outlaws. Having no further use for his two underlings, his plan was to murder them along with all of Team Seven. As a gesture of gratitude for the empathy that Naruto had displayed toward Haku, Zabuza expended the last of his remaining strength to slay Gato. at my side. The least I can do is be beside you at the end. I know it cannot be, but I wish I could go where you have gone. As snow fell all around them like tears from heaven, Zabuza drew his final breath beside Haku's broken body. Watching these two shinobi live out their ninja way to the very end made a powerful impression on Naruto.
The Chunin Exam, an event jointly coordinated by the Hidden Leaf, Hidden Sand, and other neighboring nations to bring their genin together to be tested. However, in truth, its primary purpose was to allow each nation to demonstrate its military strength in a small-scale mock war. The three friends, Naruto, Sasuke, and Sakura, successfully applied the teamwork they had developed during their previous missions to pass the first and second tests. For their third test, they were matched individually against other ninja for the right to advance. Naruto was pitted against his ninja academy classmate, Kiba Inosuka. I'll never lose to the likes of you! Easier said than done. Let's see what you can do! One day I'll be Hokage, so losing here's not an option! As the spectators watched the stunning upset unfold, they began to realize the extent of Naruto's ability. And so did Naruto. As the Chunin exam preliminary matches came to a close, it was time for the finals to begin. Naruto was matched against Neji Hyuga, considered the mightiest genin of the Hidden Leaf. Neji had completely dominated Hinata Hyuga in the preliminaries. But after being ridiculed with the phrase, once a loser, always a loser, Naruto vowed to avenge the insult leveled against him and Hinata. I'm gonna win! Now, you'll learn the hard way that no one can alter fate. Thank <laughs> you. 
It's not your destiny. Not losing to some coward who goes on about destiny or whatever! I look forward to your look of despair when you realize the truth. You're too shabby. <laughs> not losing to you of all people! Not a chance! Gentle Unbelievable! How could I? Don't give me that crap about nobody changing fate! What a bunch of garbage! Cause unlike me, you're no failure. It was Nezi who once said, one can't change destiny, in reference to the fate of the Hyuga clan's branch house. But drawing inspiration from his fight with Naruto, he began to believe that he could, in fact, alter his destiny.